Hey everyone, how are you doing? Today I'm gonna talk to you about a new extension in Stable Diffusion called Move to Move. So this extension is exclusively used for uh, creating animated videos or uh, creating you know some level of videos where you want to make some changes to the video. So it's similar to image to image, but this is for videos itself. So let me just show you the outputs I've got. So this is one some. I set it out. I'll ask consistent to test. So you can see that oh, it looks pretty cool and you know the eye colors are changing and so it's, it looks interesting. So let me just show you how you can install this and how you can run it. It's fairly simple to install. You have, I'll be uh, putting down all the links uh, down in the description below as well. So you don't have to worry about anything. So you just have to copy the, uh, this link. Go to your web UI, go to extensions, uh, put it in install from URL and just paste it. As I have already installed it, uh, I'm getting an error. So once you have installed it, you just have to go to uh, move to move. You can now just choose any video you want. Okay, so let's try a different video. Let's see if I have something else. So let's try this on a different video altogether. Uh, for instance, let's try uh, this on this video. So it's around 24 seconds and let's just uh, check its uh, width and height. So it's 722 LID. So 512 and 896 works for it. So we could go with uh, 896 height and 512 width. Okay. And now let's try it out on a... An, Wow, which kind of model is tried out on? There was this one model from uh, from Wednesday and apps, I guess. So let me see if I have that one. I think it's Mina Mix or something like that. So let me just check that. So this is the model. Let me just see what uh, what prawn works best. So let's see if this this prawn looks good. So let's try this uh, prompt on that video itself. So uh, let me just copy the prompt. Let's also copy the negative prompt as well. So it's, uh, they're using DPM, DPM 2M Keras. So let's use that. So let me just drag and drop this video. Okay. Euler A, CFG scale. Let's go with around 12. Let's go with somewhere around 12. Put the denoising strength to somewhere around 0.45 the movie frames so uh this depends on how like how many frames do you want the video to convert it into uh i tried uh, around somewhere between 15 15 is a normal amount it it won't be too many so that you know uh, yep. uh you don't have enough computational problems so 15 will look good okay so now uh, let's also add uh, control net so as this is a bit of face video, I'll add a uh, depth model as well. I'm using control at 1.1. So let's use that. So depth and similarly tiny as well. Or let's go with face. We have face model as well. So let's see where is face media by face here. Okay. Media by face. Okay. So yeah, that looks good. Uh, now, once you press generate on this, you can see the results uh, in here. Movie to movie images. Let me just delete the old results. Okay. Now you can see it's running here and just go, give it a moment. It is uh, running right now. I made a few changes to the prompts and uh, also uh, changed the sampling method. It is giving fairly okay results. You know, uh, I tried it out uh, with 
a bit of let's uh, let's see if gym maybe so it can work better so you know you just have to mess around with this but it can actually give really interesting results uh like this where i did not make a lot of changes to the prompt as well so it was uh very simple so now you can uh probably try it out with a different level of cfg scale as well so let's say uh, i'm gonna go with around 10 and denoising strength to somewhere around 0 0.5 uh, let's also have a noise mul multiplier of 0 0.1 I see how this looks like. Let me see for a different video as uh, there's some level of disturbance at the start. So let me try it for a different video. Um, yeah, let's see this one. Yeah, uh, this one would work perfectly fine. So let's try this out. So it does take a minute. Uh, I'm gonna just pause the video till then. So I think I got a couple of images. So you get the outputs at uh, uh, Web UI outputs, and you get uh, two different new folders called Move to Move Images and Move to Move Videos. So you can see the images. Uh, so let me just delete the previous ones here. Here are the ones we are getting right now. So I said uh, I want a bit of red glowing eyes. You can see it looks a bit more like anime character uh, than this. So you can obviously mess around with the settings and see what works best for you. Uh, I can actually try to increase the denoising strength and even see how it performs with uh, a higher CFG skin. And so yeah, that's about it. It's fairly simple. Uh, it actually uh, does take a bit of time to. Uh, process single video as well so uh according to that uh keep the frame number so uh, i tried it out with 30 frames though i was getting really great results uh at even a single video was taking couple of or uh, couple of hours even with my gpu so that's an issue so we can see here are the uh, images i've got so the, the eye colors are changing uh if you want you can uh, try and emphasize a bit more on different CFG scores. So let me show you how it looks with a really high CFG scale. So let me show you the images we got with a really high CFG scale. You can see the uh, red color is more eminent right now. I can see it looks a bit more like um, you are in some level of anime, right? And so you can see now it's giving a bit more black. So yeah, as you already know, having a high CFG scale won't give us a lot of control. So the images end, might end up dip, uh, looking different. But I'll also try to show you the final result after a while. So yeah, that's about it guys. Uh, uh, this is fairly simple on how to use move to move. Uh, I would suggest you, uh, you guys to use with uh, the latest version of control net and also try with uh, different level of uh, see uh, how it works best if you need only a single control net model or you want to use multiple uh i'll try out different methods and i'll let you know and yeah i hope you guys have a great day do subscribe to my channel uh follow me on linkedin and instagram have a great day everyone